Hello everyone, this is Terry Cross, and I'm Community Ambassador for the Taylor Automotive family. I am joined here this morning with the beautiful Wendy Hutley, president of Connected Kids to Mail, and the GOAT, Mr. Tom Cole over there, the voice of the Northwest. By the way, I gotta say everybody, I'm a superhero! That's right. <laughs> Terry and Taylor, they are hunger action superheroes. Yes. And every September, I believe, is the, the Hunger Action Month Yes. Uh, for the, uh, Connecting Kids to Mill. So just give us a little information about that. Yeah, so September is Hunger Action Month, and it's right. actually a national campaign to try to do two things. Number one, draw attention to hunger-related issues in communities. And for our community, we're really struggling with child food insecurity. We have mm -hmm. over 60,000 kids that qualify at our largest school district for free and reduced meals. And in some of our outlying school districts, we have significant numbers that are continuing to climb. Right. We really have some challenges, both in Lucas County and in Wood County, with child food insecurity. Mm -hmm. The second purpose for this campaign is to try to get people to do something. So yes. we want us to talk about it. Right. But we also want to talk about the amazing work, and I can't take credit for it because right. our staff is really chiefly responsible for this work that we're doing but the work that Connecting Kids to Meals is doing. We are dedicated to making sure that kids have access to healthy meals on a regular basis yes. all throughout the year through our after school meal program and our summer meal program. And so it's about doing something, whether that's volunteering, whether it's talking about right, it, whether right. it's sharing information on social media, whether it's volunteering. We just need people to be aware and to take some action. We admire what you're doing in our community. Uh, we understand the hunger issue here. I don't know that everybody does, but I think we do. It's very difficult. I taught for like 30 years. And if a youngster hasn't had a breakfast or hasn't mm -hmm. been fed properly, hasn't had a dinner, they're in the classroom without that. They have a difficult time paying attention, staying alert. Sometimes they get sleepy or they get tired and it lowers their ability to take in information. It lowers their ability to learn. And what you've done and focused on this issue is you're changing the paradigm for kids in our community. Yes. Knowing that you are making a difference, young lady, it's got to give you a great feeling inside. Talk about that a little bit. You know, I'm just blessed. You yes. know, I didn't come from a background where I wondered where my next meal was right. going to come from. Right. And so it's my honor to be right. sitting in that seat at Connecting Kids to Meals to make sure that we're able to make sure that kids can get the healthy nutrition that they need. Right. You know, when we think about it, when we look at the research, three out of every four teachers across the nation, mm -hmm. nation and locally tell us kids come to school hungry every right. single day. That's right. major. Every day. Right. So That's when you major. talk about the lack of uh, nutrition when they're in the classroom and yes. they can't focus, right. they're not learning. Right. So that also translates into their grades, graduating, yes. and how much they're gonna earn their down future. the road. Their future. Exactly. Yeah. So it impacts every aspect of their lives. And I think it's pretty obvious also the health related issues right. that come from kids that don't get proper nutrition. Right. So it gives me great satisfaction to know that every day we're helping kids around our community and around Northwest Ohio right. to make sure that they're getting meals. Something so simple, right? Right. And you know that you team so well with Dr. Duran, who is a cross and I certainly admire him so much. He, and I know you do. He's a difference maker. Yep. You know, mm -hmm. he's an agent of change in our right. community. And he, he told me one time, and I, I just, I, I was kind of astounded by this, talks about what you do feeding kids, you know, and he's very proud of that. And that's such a big deal. He also told me that they started a program now with uh, local hospitals that every TPS school, you know where I'm going with this, Wendy, every TPS school now has a nurse in the school. And he told me, I believe that about 65% of the kids, 70% of the kids, it's their first opportunity to see anybody in the medical field. I mean, anybody. Amazing. Yep. Not a doctor, not a dentist, yep. that connection with that nurse. Yep. So, you, so th then it makes you start to understand some of the disadvantages that kids come to school with. They're not being fed properly. Yep. They're not getting medical attention. So you and Dr. Durant and uh, 
Cross and Steve Taylor are making a difference. Well, I appreciate that. And, and it is critically important because, you know, kids need to know that help is out there. Yeah, right. Because they're not making the decisions, right? They're right. not deciding what right. where the dollars in the household are being That's spent. That's absolutely and so correct. So for us, yeah. it's really exposing them to nutritious uh, meals. And right. we're going to even get a little bit more creative. We're, we're talking nice. about some vegan meals. Okay. We're talking about really yeah. incorporating some really uh, out of the health box. Side yeah, of I mean, right. you know, the things we do are, are healthy because mm -hmm. we exceed right. USDA standards. Right, yeah. But you can always do better. I yes. don't care how well you're doing. Yes. You can always do yeah, better. Yeah, absolutely, Wendy. Okay, I wanted to just pick up on, um, I want you to tell our audience how they can become a Connecting Kids Superhero. Yes, so just for the month of September. Yes. It's all about making a contribution mm -hmm. to help us reach our goal. So we have some generous corporate sponsors, HBJ Industries and Designetics that have put up $75,000 oh, wow. wow. in match dollars. Wow. So our goal is to raise the other $75,000 right. yes. so that we have a, po a pool of $150,000. Right. And guess what? That's gonna provide 300,000 meals to kids in Lucas and Wood counties, right. 300,000. So any contribution will right. help us to get to that $75,000 mark. And right. I know Taylor is a part of this. Yes. Taylor is yeah. one of our superhero partners. Yes. Yeah. And you guys as well, but our audience can visit our website. Right. We have a special page, information where you can get a little bit more detail, but you can also give. You can also share this information. You can also make sure that your friends and all of your well, folks in your circle of influence right. know the importance of contributing one dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever is yes. comfortable is going to help us to reach that goal to unlock one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Visit connecting kids to meals dot org. Okay. Connecting that's, kids that's to meals yes, dot org. Easy. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And just check out some additional information on our page and just consider a gift. Uh, we appreciate it. It's for this <laughs> month. If you are if it's after <laughs> September, just date it for September so I can include it in yeah. our September right, campaign. Right, right. Yeah, uh, even sense. if you send it out next week, that's fine. But you can do a secure uh, donation online. But you know, it's all about just the awareness. Yes. We want folks to know. And so when you think about 300,000 meals, right, that's huge. Mm -hmm. But just last year, we served 776,000 wow. wow. meals. Congratulations. Thank you. That's phenomenal. Amazing. But that Amazing. tells you about the need in yes. our community. Oh, there's no yes. question about the need. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's no question about that. Absolutely. Meat. So, okay. and, and we've got a couple of other food providers that do what we do. Right. Went out of business. Yeah. Okay. So we're absorbing yes. even more. You're, so when we think that. about this mm -hmm. head start that we're going to get for these after school meals, yes. this school year, reaching this goal. But, is but it also says you're running your organization effectively. Yes. Well, you, you know, there's no, no excess. It's streamlined and, you know. Uh, you probably need more staff. You know. <laughs> we do. <laughs> staff is Wendy and you know, Wendy and Company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that could be a sitcom. <laughs> Wendy and Company. Right. Okay, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Wendy, you've been great. It's always a pleasure seeing you. Thank you. And we should see you next time on the Steve Taylor Community Connection Show.